Welcome back. So, after uh, releasing their debut EP in 1983, the band uh, will surprisingly will end up uh, getting picked up by Chrysalis Records, which of course was the home to such artists, um, Jethro Tull, uh, Robin Trower, and um, shit, um, I think even Pat Benatar and such others, uh, even Michael Schenker Group, uh, shit, even uh, UFO, there was a lot of great bands that were on uh, Chrysalis and Armored Saint would end up getting picked up by the, uh, the label. And uh, in 1984, they would release their debut full-length album titled March of the Saint. And with this, there's definitely even a difference even with production being produced by Michael James Jackson. Michael James Jackson, not Michael Jackson. No, not him. Do not confuse the two. Uh, Michael James Jackson is definitely uh, most noted uh, for producing uh, Kiss's uh, Creatures of the Night. And a few other albums as well. But that's the only one that I know because, quite frankly, that's the album that I've listened to the most. So, with that, uh, of course one of the biggest hits off of here is Can You Deliver? Of course, it, it's definitely one of the band's most, uh, kind of uh, even a recognizable song. It's a song that still plays uh, a few times. Uh, I don't see it played on VH1 Classics, uh, Metal Mania, but uh, when I saw Alice Cooper back in 2012, um, there was a jukebox playing, so you know they like to play tunes, and uh, out of the blue they would be playing Armored Saints' Can You Deliver, so it's definitely a one of the band's most popular songs, in a way. Of course, that isn't the only song in here that's actually pretty good. The whole album's great. It's definitely uh, one of my favorites when it comes to them. Uh, but not really my personal favorite. We'll get to that. Uh, there's the, you know, the title track, which kicks off the album, uh, Madhouse, which is, of course, the one of the few real speed metal songs off here besides the title track. Um, of course, there's uh, Take a Turn, which is, um, I don't know if you really can say it's a ballad. It's got a bit of a ballad, but it doesn't really sound like a hair ballad or anything. This is just a really good emotional song that, uh, really even displays John Bush's, uh, you know, pipes. He definitely, uh, pulls off a great performance on it. And of course, there's the good ones on here, like Mutiny, um, in the World. Seducer, uh, Glory Hunters, Stricken by Fate, Envy, uh, of course, False Alarm on here, which was actually, uh, of course, was featured on the EP, uh, of course, just minus, uh, On the Way and, uh, Less Than Well Learned. Uh, really, this is just a solid uh, debut album from uh, Armored Saint. There really isn't a bad song on this album. Um, just a really good display of really early U.S. power metal that still was in its, uh, you know, infant uh, state. So, after this, what would be new to the band? We'll definitely see. Until then... I'll see you again within the next video. Oh, also I forgot to say, um, if you have uh, heard this album, which of course um, you probably have, what are your thoughts on this album? Do you even think that it's a U.S. power metal album or do you think it's just a straight up heavy metal album? What are your thoughts? So, now I'll end the video. See you again.